L.A. Late, this is Javita Late. And you know, I'm very excited about Mother's Day, but because I'm a mother of a scarf lover, <laughs> I would appreciate you giving me some more scarves. You know, as a mother of a scarf lover, you know, it's appreciated when we're talking about four stimulus, fifth stimulus, four stimulus check and four stimulus package update, that you give scarves to those who are in need. <laughs> and I don't need any more scarves, but I just appreciate you give more. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, L.A. Uh, just appreciate Javita by giving scars when scars are given. doing it's friday night and it's all right and i'm excited you are here it's la late night our reverend only humor only broadcast there's no information in this video so if you're looking for how to find a stimulus check or a mother's day card i'm not covered in this video there's no information in this video and if you want me to circle back one more time i'm not doing that either <laughs> If you need information, that's Evenings LA before this video or Afternoons LA. But boy, I'm excited for uh, an appearance. Uh, no, not her. <laughs> I'm excited for Sir Loin. Are you excited for Sir Loin? Um, uh, I want to hear what's going on for Loincoin as well. Sir Loin, how are you? And uh, the, uh, the the Loincoin godfather, <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm very good. You know, they're they're calling Elon Musk tonight Doge, Doge father. Or, yeah, Doge. Uh, D D Doge, the Doge father, something like that. Do you have a nickname like that? No, I'm just Sir Lloyd. <laughs> okay, you're just Sir Lloyd. So are you excited about Loincoin, the crypto altcoin that you have been pushing on this channel? Yes, I'm very excited. Uh, to the cow. No, it's to the moon. No, to the cow. <laughs> Why are you saying to the cow? Because the cows make money on it. Okay, all right. <laughs> so the day took a very fascinating turn for four stimulus check. As that new jobs number came out, um, pre uh, or at the early part of today, and did you see the number? I did, and the the number basically said that while Wall Street is expecting to see one million Americans get back to work, only two hundred thousand got back to work. I did. I saw that number. Really. Shocking! It's shocking! Shocking! So the, the, we all understand it's a bad number. We all understand that people were not getting back to work when there were more jobs available than people. So now we're hearing all the analysis. If you tuned in early into Evenings LA right before this broadcast, I did. Uh, you'll see there was five different opinions uh, about why people are not getting back to work. So do you have an opinion as to why people have jobs and they're not getting back to work? I do. I have a lot of opinions about it. <laughs> well, this is only a 30 minute show. I have a lot of opinions about it. Opinion number one, fashion. <laughs> fashion, I just saw this coming. Fashion, the job is not fashionable. Uh, you work, show up to work and you look at the boss and you're like, is that what you're wearing? It's the same color wheel every day. I'm not showing up to work here. And everyone hears it from Yale. I'm just not doing this. <laughs> so you don't like the fashion of the workplace. No, not fashionable enough. Uh, you can offer me a beautiful salary, but if you're not, if you are not fashionable, then you are not, uh, you're not in my clique. <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting choice. I've not considered that one. Uh, why do you think also that people are not showing back to work? They say that people are staying home and getting unemployment benefits. You know, uh, I have other opinions. <laughs> I know, you're a cow. I have other opinions why they're not showing up to work. What, what are the other opinions? They are taking the monthly stimulus they can get from the federal government, whatever it is, whether it is the stimulus check, or it's the baby's check. <laughs> well, that's not coming to July. Well, they're taking margin on the baby's check. Okay, I'm following. And they're buying Dogecoin. You know, a lot of people have been saying that, that people don't want to go back to work because they're just trading crypto all day long. Elliot, have you been on Twitter tonight? I, I have looked at Twitter. Everything about Dogecoin has a tweet like every half a second. I've never seen so many tweets about one thing at the same time. I know, not since Nancy changed that hairstyle for 10 seconds. Have we ever seen so many tweets at the same time? It's just, I don't, it's, it's, it's weird. 
it's very uh, uh, it's very mob mentality. It is very mob mentality. So you th- you think that people are staying home and doing other things because they think they can be instant billionaires, instant millionaires. I think so. I think there's a mentality suddenly that um, the government did not help them out. And the job, they get back to work and they're not going to get caught up in the bills and they rather do more speculative things. They know it's speculative, but at least they think they can get caught up much faster and be set uh, very comfortably because of who's appearing on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> uh, Miley Cyrus is there. No, not Miley Cyrus. Elon Musk. Oh, okay. So I, I think that if they think they can get uh, doge to, you know, 74 cents by, time, by the end of this broadcast or, you know, and stay there and they're the doge army and they're the doge godfather, father and they're doge this and doge that and doge ball and doge doge you and I doge you some dish and dish you doge, then they're no reason to get back to work. Interesting. Really interesting. You're very smart tonight. I am. That's because extra... Um, uh, Kentucky whiskey. <laughs> oh, you brought some back from the Derby. Yes, I did. So, you know, it helps clear the brain cells. Well, that's really fascinating. Why else do you think that that the the president thinks that fourth and fifth stimulus are going to get done because of today's event? Oh, like, this president is just, I want to be respectful. <laughs> You don't have to be respectful. This is a human oily broadcast. I think he's out to left field. Yeah, <laughs> which field? The field that's like down the street, around the corner, and past the casino. He's that far out to the left field. <laughs> he really is. Did you hear the stuff he said today? I did. I, I, I just, every time I say it, I'm like, I'm like, where's Janet? Which Janet? Yellen. Oh, yeah. His, his Treasury Secretary. I mean, where is she? She's letting him say these things? Yes. He said the reason the numbers, the reason people didn't take jobs today is because we're not giving enough money to the babies. Uh, uh, Elliot, I'm a cow. And uh, that is so ridiculous, I'm about to tip over. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's like, the reason why people didn't go back to work is because the babies don't have money? I don't and did you see what Elizabeth Warren then said? Yeah, so Elizabeth Warren tried to sort of, I think what she's trying to do is try to explain the president's comments because hers are sort of in the same universe. And I think she's trying to maybe inherently explain his comments to make them look more rational. They're not. <laughs> They're not. So she said that the reason why people are not getting back to work is because their parents Wow, there's never been parents before the pandemic. We've never procreated before the pandemic. <laughs> no, we just started making babies just like last week. I mean, I mean, where have we been all this time? We've never been parents before then. Now suddenly we're parents, we cannot get back to work. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I don't... I can't... I can't I, it's, it's giving me a headache. It is giving me a headache. And I'm not... I'm not yeah, I haven't procreated yet. <laughs> You haven't broken? Well, no, that's another bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are many sirloins out there, like sirloin itos. There are, but well, that's another thing. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> sirloin itos. Uh, sirloin itos. Uh, it's, it's, I, Elizabeth Warren's message tonight was that the reason why the fifth and fourth stimulus need to be done is because of today's jobs numbers, and the reason why people are not taking jobs is because they're parents. I don't, I don't, I can't follow it. Let me explain it to you, Ellen. I'm a cow, and let me explain how cows would think this through. It's so ridiculous, go eat the grass in front lawn. <laughs> I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. We just, we just, we, there were parents before the pandemic, and their parents after the pandemic, and, you know, you dealt with the situation before the pandemic, and now you're dealing with the situation after the pandemic. Ellie, I think what Republicans would say is they would take Elizabeth Warren's comments and then explain her comments. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a Republican and interpret her comments in a Republican voice. I can always do that. That's easy. I want to just understand what she means, what she in her mind means, and I can't figure it out. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I can't figure out what she actually means because it makes no sense. I can't figure out what the president means and at least his mindset. It doesn't make any sense. And suddenly, for the first time, I think in like a year, anything that Mitch McConnell's going to say is going to make sense. 
Mitch McConnell's going to come out and say, the reason you they are not getting back to work is because you're paying them to stay home. <laughs> pull out the fist stimulus. Okay, I'll pull out the fist stimulus. How many things are in the fist stimulus, LA, that says we're going to pay you to stay home? There's a lot. <laughs> There's 12, out, there's 12 weeks of paid leave to stay at home if you have a stalker. Let me stalk you, Ellie, and you can stay home and you can get 12, leave, 12 weeks. No, I don't want to be stalked. I don't want to be stalked. But no, I get the point. There's a lot of stuff in here. We will pay people to stay home. Page after page of stuff from this White House says, I will pay you to stay at home. And suddenly, it's no longer like we're hiding we're going to pay you to stay home. We're actually calling it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fifth stay-at-home bill for the president. <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, um, ah, uh, it's, it's, there's so much confusion in here. And then, and then the, and then Richard Neal adds another wrinkle to the twist. He does. Richard Neal is the head of the Ways and Means Committee, LA, and, um, he wants to pay $74,000 to a newborn baby over 17 years. Yeah. And so what's the result of that? I have never seen where baby food costs $74,000. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't cost $74,000. And I, there's a lot of jobs that don't pay $74,000. There are a lot of jobs that don't pay $74,000. So, yeah, if I have a baby, guess what? I know what you're going to say, and I'm afraid you're going to say it. I just, I just sense it's coming, and I'm just afraid you're going to say it. Yes, if I really wanted to be scrupulous, I would just procreate a lot and suddenly be half a quarter, half a quarter, have half a quarter million dollars in my bank account. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, uh, one, two, three. Imagine if I can go have like seven babies in the next few minutes, how much money I'd have in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, oh boy. Um, so yeah, there's, um, <laughs> let's go to her. Oh, her. Where is she? Yeah, she's somewhere here. Um, where is she? Oh, yeah, she, she is. So she came out with, um, a new color today. <gasps> new color? Wait. Wait, let's recap. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. She has not worn teal this week. She has not worn a single ounce of teal this week. No. First Dogecoin, and now this. <laughs> Yes, first Dogecoin and now this. So what color do you think she wore? I don't know. She wore, she dressed like, uh, this is my guess. Okay, I want to hear your guess. She dressed like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. No, come on, that's ridiculous. Don't say that, that's ridiculous. <gasps> Ellen, I told you. I don't know, that's not really exactly what she wore. But she's wearing a hot red pantsuit. Holy, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. I think she's really tuning into you. She is wearing a hot red pants suit for the press secretary who wore muddle blue and pale blue and green every single press conference for three weeks. Suddenly, she is absolutely throwing out the color wheel and going on the electric car wheel. <laughs> yes, she is. Let's see what she, you think she says, uh, happy Friday. She starts with happy Friday. How are you? Happy Friday. So go around. Range of Fridays. <laughs> Let's see what she says. We were a little early today. I apologize for that. Okay, so um, good afternoon and happy Jobs Day today. Oh no! Happy Jobs Day. <laughs> Get she said that. <laughs> I I I cry. What a look. She came out and said, happy Jobs Day. <laughs> I just, <laughs> it's like a Saturday night sketch and it's not Saturday Night Live. The press secretary is coming out on one of the worst jobs report day and she's saying, happy Jobs Day. <laughs> don't know what's going on. Can she just circle back one more time and, and come out with a different greeting? Yes, it's just happy Jobs Day. Happy 226,000 Jobs Day. I just, what? that's just, imagine if, uh, imagine if uh, someone in the Trump administration would say that. Yeah, I mean, imagine someone in the Trump administration came out and said that. My God, they would just put it on every front page newspaper for 15 weeks. Like, how dare they say that? How dare they say that? Here I'm watching like, is she being sarcastic? Is she being uh, 
truthful. It's just, it's such a bad jobs number day. And she's saying, happy jobs day? Oh, boy. I'm afraid to write any other part of this video. Oh, man, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted on a cow. <laughs> Let's see what she has I am to honored say. to have Secretary of the Treasury, Janet Yellen, join me here. Secretary Yellen has almost 50 years of experience in academia and public service. She's the first person in history to have led the White House Council of Economic Advisors, the Federal Reserve, and the Treasury. Wait a second, L.A. I have an obvious question. I, I think I know what's going to be your question. I, I think the viewers know what's going to be your question. Why Janet Yellen? And I know exactly why the viewers are going to ask that or ask the same question. Today's jobs number came out from the Department of Labor, so why is Marty Walsh, who's the Labor Secretary, not at the press conference? I know why. <laughs> you know why. You know why Marty Walsh, the former mayor of Boston, did not show up uh, to the press conference today? Yes. Because no one could figure out his darn Boston accent. <laughs> Uh, really? Have you seen that Super Bowl commercial? It's the new South Park. The park, the car park, the car. The car cannot park, so the park car parks itself. The South Park car. <laughs> Have you not seen the commercial? Uh, I, went to, I went to the garden. I couldn't park the car. Well, Mr. Marty Walsh, can you tell us about the labor? No, no you can't figure out how to park the car. I, I, does anyone understand what he's saying? That's why they brought a jelly jelly. <laughs> They brought you out because no one could ever figure out anything not Mary Wallace says. Never. You know, they can't figure out she's talking about the garden or parking the car or the, or, uh, <laughs> or the South Park. Or, uh, they cannot figure out. So that's why they brought you out yelling. And that's where we are. <laughs> So it's one of those days. Meantime, the President of the United States had something to say today. Really? Uh, let's look at this one. <laughs> so here he is. Oh. That's an interesting room. I've not seen that room before. <laughs> well, I mean, it's in the White House. Wait a second. I have a question, Ali. Uh, well, <laughs> you have a question about the room? I do. I just, you know, why every day is the president in a different room for a press conference? Uh, I don't know. There's rooms we've never seen. <laughs> I just think there's, I just, I've, I, when Trump was in office, there was only one room we'd see. And suddenly the president's in a different room every day. It's a press conference in this room and a press conference in this room. I just think he's a uh, Romy. <laughs> I think he's lost. And he just turns on the microphone. <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. He's just eating the breath, man. Oh, that's a new room. I haven't tried out this room. Someone turn on the microphone. Can you turn on the microphone? Oh, there you are. Hi, America. I found a new room. Let me have a press conference. <laughs> it just seems like that. I'm like, I've not seen this room before. And I've not seen that room before. I'm like, how big is this? It, uh, it's, um, it's Spelling Mansion. <laughs> it's not Spelling Mansion. It's the White House. How big is this place? I mean, it's like a different room every day. I don't understand. I've never seen this room before. I just, I just I, I, I'm very confused. <laughs> So what did he say today? Uh, let's listen to LA. I'm just, um, uh, what is that thing behind it? I don't know. It's a, what is that, candle? It's beautiful. Um, is that part of the Jobs Act? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it fixed the climate. It fixed the climate. It, uh, it, uh, it's for the children. The children, the children are going to do the Maypole on it. It's good for the children. They're going to get the checks because of that poll. <laughs> let's listen in to what he has to say. 12. I want, to, uh, I want to put today's jobs report in perspective. And uh, look, we came to office, we knew- Wait, LA, this, this is like yesterday. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. This is like yesterday when you play me a clip from this president and I'm waiting for about 60 seconds and I've heard three words. Well, uh, America. I got something to tell you. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's sort of slowing down. He's slowing down. Our stimulus structure is slowing down. He's slowing down. Uh, and he, he, the, 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 the memo from the education secretary, no one's seen it. It's been five weeks. It's slowing down. Everything's just slowing down. Slowing down. I just, just sent something. I, 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 you know, everything is, I think it, <laughs> 
I need some more fiber. I need some more fiber. I just, just, it's just backing up. <laughs> it's just backing up. Yeah, it's just, it seems like things are just going really slow from this present. And I've not been running the videos because it, if I press play, it will literally take me three minutes for the viewers to get a word out of the guy. And I don't know what's going on. It's just, he is just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> he needs a meatless taco. He needs a meatless taco. He needs to take a ride around the, the casino in the EV Cadillac. <laughs> he needs to go around the casino in the EV Cadillac. There he is. He needs a meatless taco with a nice enchilada. Yes, he needs to go to Taco Bell where it's self-serve. Because when you serve yourself, you get back to work. <laughs> Maybe he's, you know, maybe he's having too many people wait on him and he's just a little bit complacent. He needs to spice up this hairstyle. Maybe, you know, put some purple hair in there. Go to Amazon hair. He needs Amazon hair. There you go. In the wall. There it is. Purple hair on the corner or the lower, lower right. He needs some purple hair. Amazon hair. Match it with his new purple iPhone. Bring in some air tag. Air tag you. I'll air tag me. I'll air tag you. Get it going, Mr. President. Get it going. And if you slow it down, then it's going to feel like a drizzle, like those stimulus chucks from the house members. That just a little stimulus, a little bit here and there. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> you really went in. I just think, I just think, I, you know, I don't want to see those videos anymore. Either talk faster, or I'm going to put you on speed dial. <laughs> You're going to speed up the video. I'm just going to speed up. I don't have time for this. I'm a busy person. Uh, if you have something to say, Mr. President, just say it quicker. And how long was that video, by the way? I, I just think it was like 12 minutes, and it was just like four sound sentences of content. It just goes really slow. Unlike Dogecoin. Not like Dogecoin. Uh, you know, in the time that he would have gotten a four sentence thing, Dogecoin would have gone up 40 more sets. So anyway, Sir Loin, I wish you and Mrs. Loin um, have a beautiful Mother's Day. We will. And uh, Sir Loin Ito and Sir Loin Ita and the whole family. We will. And how many other uh, Itas are out there that you don't know about? Don't say that on air. That we, I don't, we don't want to... <laughs> Sorry. I'll edit that part out. I hope you do. And um, I hope you have a beautiful um, Mother's Day. I wish the viewers also have a beautiful Mother's Day. I will be here, of course, back tomorrow. And so if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And have a meatless cocko if you feel yourself talking slower. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lloyd. If you've not liked this, liked this video, and if you're not becoming a member, at least contact the union and say, this union guy's working too slow. <laughs> <laughs> this union guy, the president, he's a union guy, but he needs to speed up because of this union, we don't work that slow. He's a union guy, but he needs to speed up on the job. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that uh, that innovation. Uh, and with that, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally Performance.